Mary and I met when we were about 12. We had both gone to a swimming competition and we had both won our races. We started dating when we were 14 years old. It just kept going from there. We, we were engaged to when we were 16 and we got married when we were 20. Whenever I was home, we started the day off with a kiss and we ended the day with a kiss. And just for fun in between, we hugged or held hands. When Mary was diagnosed with her cancer, they did an operation and they thought that they had gotten all of the cancer. But unfortunately, it came back after a year. And then the 27th, that night, at about 10 minutes to 11, she uh, appeared to be having some difficulty. She looked up at me, and I kind of held her, and she took her last breath. Now, being an old fighter pilot, fighter pilots are not supposed to cry. Um, I found out that that's not true. You may not have to or can display emotions in, in a fighter pilot role, but I'm not a fighter pilot anymore. You can't heal what you don't allow yourself to feel. Feeling it is beginning to heal. That's how grief works. I was so taken with this idea in life that there's a right way to do things and to excel and to be perfect that I tried to grieve well. And I put a tremendous pressure on myself. I can, I can do this well. I'll grieve better than anybody has ever grieved. The fact that I am grieving when it is time to grieve does not make me less perfect. A study recently showed 71% of Americans don't even know their neighbors. So we don't have people to story with even if we want to when somebody dies. They are becoming more virtual communities in the way uh, we are more connected to our Facebook friends maybe than to the fellow on the next corner. <laughs>